Yeah, hey, you Parks here from Team XYZ, and I'm just doing well, a little update saying that I qualified for Euros and said it fuzzy. So, yeah, that's like quite a lot of the team qualified now. So, yeah, there might be a team trip to Euros, and also just to do this a little video on what I think is the new side for Mermail Atlanteans. Uh, mono Mermail, but both Mermails should probably use it. Um, so. Yeah, let's get into the little discussion thing. One, most decks now are deciding Banisher of the Radiance or Banisher of the Light, which I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. It's the one where, so it's 1600 attack and all, mon all stuff's banished while it's on the field. Uh, so yeah, that means you've either got to Diva over it and they'll probably have back row, smash a pike into it, and they'll still probably have back row, or um, attack over it with uh, Dragoons. So, one of the worst matches for this is probably uh, Fifest, because they, they seem to be siding Banshee of the Radiance a lot, so, or like, whichever one it is. So yeah, my theory on this is to stop siding in the usual, like, extra... MSTs, dust tornadoes, and all that, because although like you're hitting the defissures, that is still the other one is still a problem card. Whereas if you side in Imperial Iron Wall, I think it's it's a more it it's better against more of the matchups. Like it's very good against Prophecy, as I used it yesterday against my teammate Fuzzy X Y Z, as it hits their life and all that life, fate, which is probably the worst, their best card against this deck, because you can't make Gaios, you can't, because they'll just fate it away, and fate doesn't target, so, until the result, the, the resolution, which is gay, so yeah, but also, side in War Mirror Force, because I don't main deck traps, I main deck 3 Sphere and Squall, so, and main deck 2 Maxis and Triodia, I think Iron Wars in a Mirror Force, is a good side, like, if you're not going to main deck traps, if you are, then you don't need to decide the mirror force, but I still think Iron Wall is genuinely a, just a much better card than Dust Tornado, because with the increase in uh, play of Banisher of the Radiance, I don't think Mermails have a great out to it, because you can't predict that they're going to side it in, and you're siding, like, Soul Takers, as that's then you're siding... You're losing a lot of the consistency of the deck by siding out lots of cards to put in Dust Tornadoes and that, whereas you could just put in Iron Wolves. And they will, they should, and probably will, a lot of my matchups sided out MSTs against me. Like, in the mirror match I side out 3 MST Heavy Storm. Because I just, the game's going to go too quickly and I can't, I don't, like, they have the potential of plussing off my... MSTs and heavy, so I don't want to do it. So if they set out their MSTs, then they don't have many outs to this. Like prophecy, the, um, fuzzy didn't side MST against me. So when I went Imperial Iron Wall, his out was Breaker, and that was it in his entire deck. So even though people can side in Banisher of the Radiance, because this says nothing can be removed from play, it's just a genuinely better card and. I see why it's not great against Firefist because like they don't do any banishing on their own, but it does hit the rabbits. So like it doesn't just hit what they're signing against you, it also hits their two rabbits. Which is still is quite good. Because they can't banish rabbit while this is on the field. So if they summon it and you flip Iron Wall, if they don't have an MST to chain, which they might, but they might not. Then they're gonna sit there with a four hundred attack rabbit or whatever it is, three hundred, I don't know. But yeah. This is just my view on what's better to side and why I think Iron Wall is much better than Dust Tornado. Because I was siding both yesterday, so I have tested it. I haven't just gone, well, I think Iron Wall's better because look at the card. I did I have tested it and I sided in Iron Wall in my 
round one against Heroes. It hit the Miracle Fusions and stuff like that. So that was that was good. Round two against Prophecy. Round three I played against Gadgets. No, not Gadgets. Gear Gear. I get those. I seem to be getting those two mixed up all the time. Gear Gears. I signed it against them because I felt the macro coming in or whatever because I only saw Gear Gears round one uh, in game one but then it was Machinus so there wasn't going to be any defissure or anything but I did hit it did, like it also hits bottomless D prisons and stuff like that in the hero matchup and it hit those in the Gear Gear matchup and that won me the game because I'd had it set and there was no point in not using it even though I had it because I was going to go for game next turn he had one back row and I flipped it M phase and he just scooped because his set was deep prison. So I was just going to go all out and kill him. Uh, so yeah, it's just a great card. And then round, round four I played against Samurai. Did I side against Samurai? Um, no, I didn't side against Samurai. Because I knew the guy and he wasn't the greatest of players. And yeah, he's, he's a good, he's, he's, he's an improving player, but he wasn't the greatest of players. But I would say I didn't get Samurai because it, it hits the bar key on if you have it before they get it out and you've already activated it. Like if they have a two and a six and they don't have a sheet in, so if they have Kagamusha and Keys on, you just flip Iron Wall and they go into bar key on. You can still sphere away because they have to banish for bar key on. So yeah, it's just it's genuinely an amazing card. Uh, shout out to Rowley and Fluffy. It's my mate Fluff. Uh, he doesn't really play competitively, but he's been siding this for ages. He doesn't rule my mails, but he still thinks it's a great card. And I agree with him. It's an amazing card. But yeah, so that was it. It's just random chat. I'm going to try and upload more videos. I think I'm going to get some... Um, Jewels for the team channel on Wednesday, so they'll be up Wednesday night, and then yeah, that's about it. I'm sorry about my really bad camera room. I'm gonna get someone to do camera for me. I suck at it. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and this is Parks from Team XYZ, and I will see you with more videos on Wednesday.